All right, Spreaker, how you doing? Channel One, you're live on the air, Pastor Rick. Welcome, friends, coast to coast and worldwide. You're live on the air with Pastor Rick. That's right. Let's get going. Oh, friends, we got a good one for you tonight. Let's get going over on... Where are we at here? We are at StreamYard today, my friends, on this Sunday, November 13th, live. We're going live on Anchor Cast Box and, of course, Tin Can. So, let me get a few things together here. i got to make sure I got my coffee. We're going to do communion tonight, my friends. Uh, <laughs> so, bear with me. Let me get a few things together here anyway. And uh, then we will get going on this Sunday night, the 13th. Man, this time is flying by so much. It's amazing. So an hour early, friends, a little after 1030. I had some things to do uh, after uh, after the podcast here tonight. So um, <laughs> even though it's going to be late night, I decided to go back an hour. So uh, we're going to try that on Sunday since I missed this morning. I kind of overslept, doing a lot of extra work over here, and kind of overslept, uh, you know, uh, how that goes too, friends. So, anyway, bear with me. We are getting some things together. I'm getting some things together. I know I was talking about like a third person here, but this just me. Uh, Well, the Spirit, the Holy Spirit's here definitely uh, in the studio in the church this morning. Well, every day, every podcast. So, uh, (laughs) it's sort of a force of habit. To, to, you know, to call it uh, we. So, anyway, you guys know what's happening. Uh, Now, let's get going over on StreamYard. Not Restream. We just did that the other night there. Or last night, right? Anyway, let me get a couple of things together here. New headset. Uh, We'll see how that goes. So, let me make one adjustment. And then I think we should be ready to go. Make sure my headphones are on correctly let's get that new intro on its feet and then we're going to go live on Streamyard. all right let's see am i on am i on that's what i want to know where am i at uh (laughs) i can see it it's live, friends. Uh, let me see what has happened here. Uh, hopefully, I won't have to restart it to reframe it. There it is. All right. It was just late coming in. Uh, I almost had to restart the whole thing because uh, I was wondering what happened. Uh, a little delay on the intro here. Not sure why that happened, but, uh, well, you know. All right, so there's the monitor. Let's get the other one going. I've already got it posted out. And <laughs> there we go. Marcy, let's get chill. What do we got? Spreaker going on tonight. So let's go with that. Spreaker, there you are. Channel three. How are you doing? Amen. That's right, Channel 3. You are up and running. Looks like we're okay there. And let's go to Channel 1 here. We are recording on that, so that's a good sign. And let me check the broadcast booth here. Amen. Boy, oh boy, I tell you, it's a lot to do, uh, friends. It's uh, quite the uh, activity going on here, so... Let me double check my channels. Yeah, we want to make sure we're good there. All right. <laughs> Hi, friends. A little after 1030, Sunday night, November 13th. Pastor Rick, we're Wildlife Ministry Podcast Network broadcasting again. We are on StreamYard tonight, friends. Sunday, uh, as I was working on a new schedule, like I said, I got this new, well, it's kind of the basic. It's It's pretty much the same schedule i always been on but uh i just refixed the uh third which is this one uh so yeah should have been well it is restream tv melon tv and Streamyard. so 
couple of you know, couple of new changes uh, coming up. Kind of overslept this morning. I was going to go on eleven thirty this morning. Didn't happen. Too much uh, going on last night, and uh, you know how that goes. So trying to get everything taken care of and handled. Uh, amen. So I think my channels went to sleep on me here. So let me sign back in and uh, Blog Talk Radio on the air. All right, let's find out what's happened to our channel. There it is. It's on, and it's on there, and it's on there. So there you go. Wow, take a deep breath. We're going to be okay. (laughs) Anyway, uh, friends, good to see you. Good to be on here again. Uh, Like I was saying, I did miss this morning. Uh, that wasn't intentional. It just, I kind of overslept, did a lot of work yes, the last couple of days, got just t- kind of tired out there. So, you know, so I reset instead of, uh, trying to wait it out. I just said, yeah, we're going to go on. I'm going to do it an hour early instead of 1130 for you on Sunday nights. I'm going to, you know, try to get there at 1030, uh, instead. So hopefully that'll help. And, uh, yeah, boy, do I have a lot to cover friends. We are going to do the Holy Communion. Uh, I've got some scriptures together for that. Um, as I am, let's see, let me get my, my handy clipboard. Make sure I got that together here for you. Uh, I'm going to give you some scriptures, extra scriptures on the communion. And then we're going to read a few of them together here. Spend our first hour uh, together now, our first scripture before I pray it in our first schedule or scripture on the schedule is First Corinthians chapter eleven one through thirty four. So I will see. Like I said, we're going to spend some time on this. Uh, I've been thinking about it and praying on it for such a long time. I did that originally, and then um, kind of stopped doing it. I don't know why. There's just something I just walked away from it, kind of or well, not rocked away, but I just kind of stopped doing it. So, um, I think I got a comment or something, a pretty negative comment. And, uh, you know, it kind of shot me down a little bit. So, uh, I kind of, you know, prayed for that person and then rebuked it and then moved on. And here we are, friends. So, we are going to do the communion, First Corinthians um, what did I say? First Corinthians chapter 11. And so I'll read it out and then we will uh, go ahead and partake in the communion. So as we remember God, my friends, as we remember our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Um, you know, we can't forget. So, oh, mercy, friends. Well, I got my coffee. I hope you do, too. Grab your Bibles, your um, as I'm getting <laughs> I'm still kind of getting things together here. Um, I'm a little out of sorts here a bit. But uh, grab your Bibles, your cup of coffee, pens, papers, notebook, tablets, highlighters. Now, let's get uh, Anchor Cast Box together. There they are. And let's get uh, Tin Can. All right, Tin Can, you're live on the air for Sunday night, November 13th. Pastor Rick, Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast Network. Multi streaming, multi recording, so much, uh, friends. Boy, I tell you. Um, <laughs> all right, so here's the schedule. I just kind of uh, shared that with you briefly uh, before we pray it in. Um, Mondays and what is it? Uh, recently, we got Monday, Thursday, Sunday mornings, generally around 11 30 on Sunday mornings. Uh, the other times are all 10 30. Uh, at Restream, then we got uh, Mon- or Tuesday and Fridays at Melon TV, and uh, Wednesdays and Saturdays. But uh, since I kind of missed this morning, I said, "Well, we better we better cruise on over to Streamyard and, and get that active." So, otherwise, it's going to be pretty much like it always been. And then I got three days a week over at Twitch TV. Uh, and uh yeah it was it monday wednesday fridays at twitch tv um on the separate channels and then um over at uh where is it sunday so sundays live on twitch tv amen all right uh <laughs> give me just a second here friends let me 
double check something here. Now, um, I've got everything posted out, my friends. You guys know who you are and where you're at. So uh, there it is. Double checking. Uh, don't forget LinkedIn and Twitter. All that stuff's live there. And uh, yeah, I'm going to keep on this. We're going to have a lot to cover, friends. It's, it's like I said, i got to keep on the schedule. So uh, pretty ambitious, but i got to do it. So um, all right, so uh, anyway, I appreciate you guys dropping on in. Let's get to our prayers, and then, Franz, like I said, we're going to dive into this. Now, if there's time, I have um, the Orthodox Study Bible Recap Archive Series. I know, that's a mouthful, but hey, I we got to do it. So um, I will look into that as well. Uh, lots to cover my friends lots to cover uh, i hope you had a great sunday got to church this morning if you you know hopefully you did and you heard, you heard that good word so thank you guys for coming in after the church service uh again uh the church service way after the church service that you had this morning but i hope to give you a word here uh amen i appreciate you guys let's grab some coffee and uh, then grab your communion stuff, friends, together if you can, your crackers, your juice, and uh, your Bible scriptures, of course, as again, we are going to look at 1 Corinthians chapter 11, 1 through 34. I'll read that out, and then we'll go ahead and do the communion together, friends. Amen, church. All right. Doors are open. Uh, church is on. Welcome, friends. Twitch TV, behave yourself, kids. You're in church. Let's get to it. Um, let me let me wrestle with my microphone here just to uh, begin, <laughs> as I always do. There it is. Uh, I forgot to tighten up uh, a couple of the bolts there. Always good. Boy, do I love this mic too. By the way, it is awesome. I um, hope it, and I hope you know. I hope that what uh, what you guys see in here. I hope that uh, sounds good enough. Uh, you know, I always try to strive to. Uh, improve here so anyway let's go ahead and just pray it in we got a lot to cover friends again as we're going to do the communion here so oh gracious heavenly father thank you again for the day thank you for your word um you know and uh thank you as uh i i uh, share the the communion here uh in remembrance uh, of you and uh boy do i just uh, we we all appreciate that uh, the sacrifice and uh, everything. So, Father God, this is uh, this is all for you. And uh, again, as we are in remembrance here, thank you for the opportunities. Thank you for the chance to preach and share this word uh, to family, friends. As I always pray for them as well, family, friends, everybody connected, everybody watching and hearing these podcasts. Uh, Father God, just uh, let your word. Uh, come through let your word just reach out to ears that hear and eyes that see father god thank you for this calling for this mission uh, as i you know continue to uh, uh, you know just uh, continue to keep keep moving forward and keep preaching this word again thank you father god jehovah for everything it is amazing and i'm glad that uh, i am on this uh, journey uh, Father God, I know your hand is always on this ministry, so I ask that your protection and uh, watch over the uh, Wi-Fi, all the equipment here as we've been struggling, uh, you know. Uh, but uh, you you give me that strength and that courage to keep fighting and keep moving forward and, you know, just continue to share out this message. Always awesome and always amazing. Um, and, I, you know, I know your hand is on the other ministries as well. So watch over them and as they do their their missions and their journeys. Uh, Father God, just bless them as you always do. And, uh, you know, as we keep seeking after you, we keep searching for you diligently, daily. Uh, you know, just uh, continue to watch over them and guide them and protect them. Give them that strength and that, uh, that courage and the hope that you, uh, that you are, Father God. You are our courage and strength and hope so i thank you i just give it over to you 
Uh, again, praying for family, friends, everybody connected and watching and hearing these messages. Uh, let it lift them and let it let it just uh, let it just uh, marinate in their hearts, <laughs> Father God. I just marinate in their hearts and uh, you know stir stir them up and uh, uh, to you know uh, take the scales off their eyes, uh, Father God. So thank you, and I give this all over to you. And in Jesus' name, we pray right now, Church. Uh, in in our Father's heavenly name, uh, we pray right now. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen and amen. All right, my friends. Boy, do I got a lot to cover. I hope you're ready for some church tonight. You know, I wasn't going to let the devil uh, have any kind, you know, any kind of time uh, <laughs> as I try to struggle to see here. I had to clean my glasses off. Um, yeah, we're not we're not going to let the devil have any kind of time uh, to you know to think about anything. We're we're going to keep just moving forward. Uh, you know, as I was talking to uh, friends this morning, um, I, it's just amazing. My friend in Japan, uh, how awesome! You know, just I didn't realize how uh, how many countries were where the podcasts are at at this point in time. Pretty amazing. I am always humbled and just blown away uh, at uh, you know just how much. It's just amazing. So. Uh, anyway, is that awesome? So, um, all right. Well, again, uh, a little note there. I forgot to readjust my cross there, uh, because on the other channels, the sign that says live is not there. It doesn't block it. So, uh, but I usually, uh, will pull or push to kind of the, move the camera up a little bit so that you can kind of see it better, uh, so I, I'm not sure how that's going to work out. I should have uh, checked it out earlier, but um, boy, oh boy. Well, at least it's there, right? Um, I think, yeah, because it's it's still kind of somewhat straightened out, but you guys can see it. It's it's there enough. So I may have to drop it down a little bit because I do like the angle of the camera here. It is pretty good. So. Well, anyway, friends, I want to just, before we even go into our Sinner's Prayer Salvation uh, and our notes, of course, go to your Bibles. Let's go ahead and do the communion right now. Let's open up with that. Uh, so grab your uh, your juice and your crackers, and let's go ahead and uh, partake in the, uh, the communion here. Now, go, if you will, friends, go to your Bibles. Uh, we want to look at 1 Corinthians chapter 11, and uh, we'll do this, and then I'll give you uh, the kind of some basic scriptures on the communion. We'll read a couple of them. Uh, I want to spend this first part here uh, talking about the communion. Uh, so, uh, yeah, let's get to it, friends. Good to see you. Good to be on your StreamYard TV. You're on the air. We're Wildlife Ministry Podcast Network, Pastor Rick here. Uh, boy, got to catch my breath to feel like I'm running a marathon. Well, it kind of, it really we are, right? Uh, we got to run to the end, right? So let me uh, roll up my sleeves because we're going to dig into this word, friends. Amen. All right, 1 Corinthians chapter 11, church. Let's go ahead and check that out. And then again, we will uh, we'll do the communion here. Amen. All right. Chapter 11. Be ye followers of me, he tells us, friends, even as I also am of Christ. Now I praise you, brethren, that you remember me in all things and keep the ordinances as I delivered them to you. But I would have you know that the head of every man in Christ and the head of the woman is the man. And the head of Christ is God. Amen, right? All right, every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, uh, dishonoreth his head. And let's go to the next one here as my notes are falling out. All right, but every woman that prayeth or prophesieth with her head uncovered dishonoreth her head. For that is even all one as if she were shaven. 
For the woman be not covered, let her also be shorn. But hold that thought. Don't get mad. Just read the scriptures here. I'm going to continue. Uh, <laughs> amen. For the woman cannot be covered, or a woman be not covered, let her also be shorn. But if it be a shame for a woman to be shorn or shaven, let her be covered. For a man indeed ought not to cover his head, for as much as he is the image and the glory of God. But the woman is the glory of the man. For the man is not of the woman, but the woman of the man. And neither was the man created for the woman, but the woman for the man. As we roll on to the next verse 10. For this cause ought the woman to have power in her head because of the angels. Nevertheless, neither is the man without the woman, and neither the woman without the man in the Lord. For as the woman is of the man, even so is the man also by the woman, but all things of God, friends. Judge in yourselves. Uh, is it commonly that a woman pray unto God uncovered? Doth not even nature itself teach you that if a man have long hair, it is a shame unto him? But if a woman have long hair, it is, it is a glory to her, for her hair is given her for a covering. But if any man seem to be contentious, uh, we have no such custom, neither the churches of God. Now is that or this that I declare unto you, I praise you not that you come together not for the better, but for the worse. But uh, as it says in verse 18, For first of all, when ye come together in the church, I hear that there be divisions among you, and I partly believe it. For if there must also, or for there must be also uh, heresies among you, that they which are approved may be made manifest among you. When you come together, therefore, into one place, this is not to eat. Uh, it says, this is not to eat the Lord's Supper. For in eating, every one taketh before other his own supper, and one is hungry, and another is drunken. What have ye not houses to eat and to drink in, or despise ye the church of God, and shame them that have not? What shall I say to you? Shall I praise you in this? I praise you not. For I have received of the Lord that which I also I delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. All right. And when he had given thanks, he brake it and said, Take heat. This is my body which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. Now, um, let's stop right there and let me go ahead and grab my uh, communion stuff. Um, all right, so we're going to go back to 24. And when he had given thanks, as, he, as we are participating and partaking here um, in the Holy Communion, friends, let's go ahead and read that again. Um, in verse 24, 1 Corinthians chapter 11. And you are worthy to do this, friends. You don't, um, no, what I, well, you don't, <laughs> you don't need permission. Just do this in remembrance of our Lord and Savior, friends. Just, you can do it by yourself or do it with your friends. Uh, let's go ahead and do this, friends. In verse 24, and when they give him thanks, he break it, friends. So, Break our bread there. Um, and he says, Take, eat. This is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. So let's do this uh, right now, friends. Amen. All right, now let's go to the next verse here. And after the same manner, 
he took the cup when he had saying, as we take our uh, communion cups here, friends, on the Sunday uh, night here. He says, this cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as off as ye drink uh, or drink it in remembrance of me, friends. Let's go ahead and do that right now. Amen. All right, friends. There you go. Thank you for that. Thank you. Uh, thank you for your participation. We've got to do this. Um, I mean, I probably should do, be doing this every night. Uh, but uh, as I felt it in my heart, I felt it in the spirit. I, I need to do this again. We need to do this as a body of Christ, as a church uh, here, friend. We need to be doing this. Uh, amen. Boy, I tell you, just a movement in the spirit. Uh, amazing. All right. So. Uh, as we continue from verse 24 and 25. Um, in 26, for as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do shew the Lord's death till he come. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of that bread, and drink of that cup. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily, eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. For this cause many are weak, and sickly among you, and many sleep. For if we would judge ourselves, we should not be judged. But when we are judged, we are chastened of the Lord, that we should not be condemned with the world. Wherefore, my brethren, when you come together to eat, tarry one for another. And if any man hunger, let him eat at home, that ye uh, come not together unto condemn, uh, condemnation. And the rest will I set in order when I come. So there you go, my friends. Powerful. Powerful, friends. I tell you. Um, wow. All right. So let's see. Let's do one more reading here. And then I'll just give you some uh, scriptures, uh, friends, on, uh, on the communion here. All right, so we are going to go to Matthew chapter 25, and uh, we're going to look at that as well. And there, <laughs> there went my clip. I know I'll 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 get to it here. Um, let's see, I want that one for later. And 23. Found another one here. Give me a minute here, friends. Let me fix this. Amen. I know every time I go to something, one chapter, I find something else, and it just kind of throws me off here. Um, and I don't know why, but well, I know why. Uh, Holy Spirit, uh, definitely, definitely Holy Spirit. So let me get to this. Uh, I was looking at twenty-four for later. Because I do want to do that one too. But we are going to look at 25. Um, so, try to get the page here. All right. Give me a minute. Let me get to this. Uh, there it is. And, all right. So there you go. There's <laughs> There's our next scripture. So let's go to 25. Uh, is it 25? Yeah, Matthew chapter 25, friends, another uh, scripture on the communion. And then, I'll, like I said, I'll give you the rest of the uh, scriptures and stuff there. So, chapter 25 in the book of Matthew, and again, then I'll run through uh, the other scriptures for you. 
And uh, as I missed one, I don't know why I did that. That was not good. But anyway, let's go to Matthew 25 here, friends. So, when shall the kingdom of heaven be likened to ten virgins, which took their lamps and went forth to meet the bridegroom? And five of them were wise, and five were foolish. They that were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them. But the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. While the bridegroom tarried, they all slumbered and slept. And at midnight there was a cry made. And behold, the bridegroom cometh. Go ye out to meet him. Then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish said unto the wise, Give us of your oil. For your lamps are gone out. But the wise answered, saying, Not uh, not so, lest there be not enough for us and you. But go ye rather to them that sell and buy uh, for yourselves. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came. And they that were ready went in with him uh, to the marriage. And the door was shut. Now, there is a parable in there, friends, for us that we need to hear, right? Afterward, as we go into 11, afterward came also the other virgin, saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he answered and said, Verily I say unto you, I know you not. Tell you, watch this, friends. Uh, Amen. 13, watch therefore. For uh, ye know neither the day nor the hour wherein the Son of Man cometh. All right. For the kingdom of heaven is as a man traveling into a far country, who called uh, his own servants and delivered unto them his goods. And unto one he gave five talents, to another two and to another one, to every man according to his several uh, several ability, and straightway took his journey. Now, bear with me for a second. I have to check something on the monitor here. Uh, amen. So give me just a couple of seconds here. I gotta check it out. And our service is on the main page again, friends. There you go. YouTube is uh, uh, doing really awesome here. I always appreciate that uh, uh, encouragement. Uh, we have, we're actually right on the first number one spot there. Whew, thank you guys. I I appreciate. It. I tell you, I am excited about uh, you know uh, about uh, the the ministry um, and and what I what it's it's doing. Thank you guys for your support, your prayers, and your patience here. Uh, it, uh, it's just all for God's glory. Uh, this is not for me. This is about God, uh, and, and just giving back. So thank you guys for, again, for your support and, uh, you know, checking out the channel here. All right. So again, we are in Matthew 25. And so let's, uh, continue and let's go as we just talked about the, the, uh, the, as he said, and unto one, he gave five talents to another two and to another one to every man, according to his several ability and straightway took to his journey or took his journey. Then, uh, he that had received the five talents went and traded with the same and made them other five talents. And likewise, he that had received two, he also gained other two. But he that received one went and digged in the earth and hid his Lord's money, friends. Is is that what, are we doing that with the word of God, my friends? Are we burying that and, and glossing over it, not looking at it? I tell you, there's something in here. All right, uh, <laughs> as I look at this, uh, amazing. Um, all right, so uh, as we are in Matthew 25, verse 18, And he that received one went and digged in the earth and hid his Lord's money. After a long time, the Lord of those servants cometh and reckoneth with them. Uh, amen. Thank you guys for watching here. 
And so he that had received five talents came and brought other five talents, saying, uh, Lord, thou deliveredest unto me five talents. Behold, I have gained besides them five talents more. And his Lord said unto him, Well done, thou good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will make thee ruler over many things. Uh, As he says, enter thou into the joy of thy Lord. Thank you guys for jumping on here, friends. You are live tonight. Don't adjust your TV screens a little earlier than usual. We're reading uh, about the communion as I just opened up with that uh, in 1 Corinthians chapter 11. Uh, I'm going to just kind of go through and read uh, some of the communion scriptures here, uh, friends, as we are in Matthew 25 at about verse 32. If you're just joining us, thank you guys again. What a blessing it is to be in the house of the Lord today, friends. Well, all right, 32. He also that had received two talents came and said, Lord, thou deliverest unto me two talents. And behold, I have gained two other talents beside them. Uh, His Lord said unto him, well done, good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will make thee ruler over many things. Enter thou into the joy of thy Lord. Then he which had received the one talent came and said, Lord, I knew uh, I knew thee that thou art a hard man, reaping where thou not so or hast not sown, and gathering where thou hast not strawed. And I was afraid, and went and hid the talent in the earth. Uh, lo, there hast that is thine, or thou hast that is mine. Uh, his Lord answered and said unto him, Thou wicked and slothful servants, thou knewest that I reap where I sowest not, and gather where I uh, not strawed. Thou, uh, let's see, oughtest, therefore, to have put my money to the exchangers. And then, at my coming, I should have received mine own with usury. Take, therefore, the talent from him, and give it unto him which had the ten talents. For unto every man, or every one that hath, uh, shall be given and he shall have an abundance. But from him that hath not shall be taken away even that uh, which he hath. And cast ye the unprofitable servant into outer darkness. There shall be weeping and gnashing of the teeth. And I tell you, friends, that doesn't sound good, right? So as he gets, as it says here in verse 30, and cast ye the unprofitable servant into outer darkness, and there shall be weeping and gnashing of the teeth. Uh, When the Son of Man shall come in his glory, and all the holy angels with him, then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory. Uh, And before him, as we go on to 32, shall be gathered all nations, and he shall separate them one from another, uh, as a shepherd divideth his sheep from the goats. And he shall set the sheep on his right hand, and the goats on the left. Then shall the king say unto them on his right hand, Come, ye blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom, prepared for you from the foundation of the world. I'm telling you, friends, we need to be prepared and ready, right? And let's go back to 34 again, uh, as that is one of our other key verses here. Then shall the king say unto them on his right hand, Come and be blessed, or ye blessed of my father, 
inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. As as we saw in verse 33, it says, And he shall set the sheep on his right hand and the goats on the left. For I was an hungered, and ye gave me meat. I was thirsty, and ye gave me drink. And I was a stranger, and ye took me in. Naked, and ye clothed me. I was sick, and ye visited me. I was in prison, and ye came unto me. Then shall the righteous answer him, saying, Lord, when saw we thee and hungered and fed thee, or thirsty and gave thee drink? When saw we thee a stranger and took thee in, uh, or naked and clothed thee? Or when saw we thee sick or in the prison and came unto thee? And the king shall answer and say unto them, Verily I say unto you, and as much uh, as ye have done it unto the uh, one of the last of these my brethren, ye have done it unto me. Then shall he say also unto them on the left hand, Depart from me, you cursed, uh, unto everlasting fire, prepare f- or prepared. For the devil and his angels. For I was an hungered, and he gave me no meat. I was thirsty, and he gave me no drink. I was a stranger, and he took uh, me not in. Naked, and he clothed me not. Sick, and in prison, and he visited me not. When shall they also answer him, saying, Lord, when saw we thee an hungered, or a thirst, or a stranger, or naked, or sick, or in prison, and did not minister unto thee? Then shall he answer them, saying, Verily I say unto you, inasmuch as ye did it not, uh, not to one of the least of these, ye did it not to me. And these shall go away into everlasting punishment, but the righteous into life eternal. I'm telling you, friends, wow. Boy, does that make you think, right? It just puts you right in your place and makes you think about things. That's heavy. That's a heavy script or scripture. I mean, it's not a script, but it's a, it's a heavy scripture. Wow. Wow. All right, um, amen. So we're going to keep that one for Sundays. Amen. So first one, amen. All right. Um, now, I was kind of going to go do 26. I should have did 23 first, but kind of jumped to 23 to 26. But Let's go to Matthew 26, friends. And like I said, I'm going to spend a little bit of time, the first hour here, um, amen, the first hour um, just sharing some scriptures on um, on the Holy Communion. I think that's the first hour we're going to do here. Uh, and then if I have time uh, again, uh, I got a whole set of cool stuff for you. What repentance from sin should look like, church, right? We're going to share that, too, or I'm going to do that one, too. All right, let me get some coffee, readjust myself. I'm glad you're here. I appreciate you. I really do. (laughs) Amen. All right. Had a little bit of (laughs) a little corner dog hair on there. Uh, I was kind of watching my friend's dog and a uh, little puppy. And, uh, yeah, we won't talk about that. <laughs> so, 
we'll move on, edit that out, just keep going. Um, all right, so let's continue, brothers and sisters of the church. Good to be here with you. Amen. Alrighty, let's go on to the next. Uh, we've got chapter 26. And again, I guess I probably should have readjusted the cross because you can't see it. But you know it's there, right? Um, yeah, I either got to readjust my camera. I, maybe just a little bit, but not much right now. Um, I have a monitor here too. So I readjusted my, my desk here a little bit, and I have the monitor recording uh, for, for the monitor here, and then I have rec the, uh, we're live on Tin Can uh, here on this one, and that's why the lab mics again, and I've got the tablet running on Anchor CastBox. Uh, always a joy. All right. 26 in the book of Matthew, friends. Amen. All right. By the way, we're live on Block Talk Radio, friends, and LinkedIn, and Twitter, and more. So thank you guys again for your support. I do, I do. All right, and it came to pass when Jesus had finished uh, all these sayings, he said unto his disciples, Ye know that after two days is the feast of the Passover, and the Son of Man is betrayed uh, to be crucified. Then assembled together the chief priests and the scribes and the elders of the people unto the palace of the high priest who was called Caiaphas and consulted that they might take Jesus by subtly and kill him. But they said not on the feast day, let there be an uproar, lest there be an uproar among the people. Uh, now when Jesus was in Bethany in the house of Simon the leper, there came unto him a woman having an alabaster box of very precious ointment. And it poured it on his head, and he sat at meat, or as he sat at meat. But when the disciples saw it, they had uh, indignation, saying, uh, To what purpose is this waste? O oh, foolish foolish people, right? Uh, for this ointment might have been sold for much and given to the poor. Uh, when Jesus understood it, he said unto them, Why trouble ye the woman? For she hath wrought a good work upon me. For we have, now watch this in uh, the next verse here. Uh, friends, this is very, uh, very, very interesting. As I saw, uh, heard this earlier too. Uh, and let me get the notes together here on this. I missed this and did get a chance to take care of this. So uh, give me a minute and let me see what I can do here. Try to do as quick as possible. All right, give me a minute here. Let me catch up on this. And I'll take care of the notes here in a little bit. All right. So as we go back, friends, as we know, the woman was washing uh, his feet with her hair. Uh, watch this, friends. This is just, just so amazing. Um, all right. So when Jesus understood it, he said unto them, Why trouble ye the woman? For she hath wrought a good work upon me. For ye have the poor always with you, but me ye have not always. For in that she hath poured this ointment on my body and did it for my burial. Verily I say unto you, Whoso, or let's see, uh, wheresoever this gospel shall be preached in the whole world, there shall also be this, that this woman hath done, uh, he told, or be told, for a memorial uh, of her. Then one of the twelve, 
called Judas Iscariot, went unto the chief priests and said unto them, What will we uh, ye give me? And I will deliver him unto you. Uh, and they con- uh, covenanted with him uh, for 30 pieces of silver. Oh, man. Uh, let's see. Get that written down here. Well, that is the betrayal right there. Now, as we go on to 16 here, friends. And from that time he sat or sought opportunity to betray him. The devil swooped in and took him up, friends. Now, as we look at 17, now for the uh, the first day of the feast of the unleavened bread, the disciples came to Jesus, saying unto him, What wilt thou that we prepare for thee to eat the Passover? And he said, Go into the city to such a man, and say unto him, The master saith, My time is at hand. I will keep the Passover at thy house with my disciples. Um, And it says in verse 19, And the disciples did as Jesus had appointed them, and made ready the Passover. Uh, Now when even the even has come, he sat down with the twelve. And as they did eat, he said, Verily I say unto you, that one of you shall betray me. Right. That adjusted here. Uh, and they were exceeding sorrowful, or sorrowful, and began uh, every one of them to say unto him, Lord, is it I? And he answered and said, He that dippeth his hand with me in the dish, the same shall betray me. The Son of Man goeth as it is written uh, of him, but woe unto the man by when the Son of Man is betrayed. It has been good for that man if he had not been born. Wow. Then Jesus or not Jesus, Judas, scratch that, put that, edit that out, <laughs> anyway, uh, then Judas, which betrayed him, answered and said, Master, is it I? And he said unto him, Thou hast said. And as they were eating, Jesus took bread and blessed it, and break it, as we just did. And gave it to the disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body, friends. And he took the cup and he gave thanks and gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of it. For this is my blood of the New Testament. And this, again, continues with the communion here. As he says in 28, For this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for many, for the remission, as we know, the remission of sins, friends. But I say unto you, I will not drink henceforth of the fruit of the vine until the day or that day when I drink it in uh, new with you in my Father's kingdom. Uh, And when they had sung and him they went out unto the mount of olives then saith jesus unto them all ye shall be offended because of me this night for it is written i will smite the shepherd and the sheep of the flock shall be scattered abroad now let's go to 32 but after i am risen again i will be Go before you unto Galilee. Amen. Let's get that taken care of there. Peter answered and said unto him, Though all men shall be offended because of thee, yet will I never be offended. All right. And Jesus said unto him, Verily, 
I say unto thee, that this night before the rooster crow, uh, thou shalt deny me thrice. And Peter said unto him, Though I should die with thee, yet will I not deny thee. Likewise also said all the disciples. Then cometh Jesus with them unto a place called Gethsemane, and saith unto the disciples, Sit ye here while I go and pray yonder. Right? All right. And he took with him Peter and the two sons of Zebedee, and began to be sorrowful and very heavy. Can't imagine, friends. Can't imagine that. Uh, the heaviness of Jesus' heart uh, must have been powerful, overwhelming. I can't, I can't even imagine. I mean, even we go through our, our grieving periods and our, you know, the, the hard times and the, you know, all that, uh, all that. And that's heavy, too. You know, of course, we go through our trials and tribulations, the fire and, the, you know, all that stuff, too. But, um, and we feel that heaviness, that sorrow, you know, that real uh, loss, like a sense of loss. And that's, that's tough. I know, uh, friends. And uh, so as we read this, um, boy, oh boy, I just sense the heaviness in Jesus' heart. His grace is too heavy for us, friends. I can't imagine. I just can't imagine. Just powerful. So think about that, uh, friends, how uh, we were saved by grace. Amen. All right. So in 38, then saith he unto them, my soul is exceeding sorrowful, even unto death. Tarry ye here and watch with me. And I've got to fix this part of the notes here. I did not get a chance. Uh, man. Right. So, as it says in 39, right? And he went a little farther and fell on his face and prayed, saying, O oh, my Father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as thou will. Man. All right. Give me a second here, friends. 39. All right, let's go to 40. And he cometh unto the disciples and findeth them asleep and saith unto Peter, What, could ye not watch with me one more hour? Now, I shared this with you guys before a, long, a, a while back. I have the same vision here. Um, and that's why I've, uh, you know, I've, I've kind of intensified or, or doubled up on the podcast uh, to try to make sure that there's not a lot of gaps in there. Now, I know there was just one here, five days. Um, and like I said, even though I don't do the main ones here, I'm still on the other ones, um, and plus with all the renovations. So this verse, this scripture, really shook my soul. I mean, it. you got to think about this, friend. Think about the words that he's saying here. Um, it, it's It's just really, really powerful. Um, and, uh, again, I had a vision, uh, that I was watching this. I was in the garden, like behind a rock or something. And I saw this whole scenario kind of play out. It shook me so hardcore. I, I really was like, wow, that's a, just a powerful vision of God. Uh, and so, like I said, I've, uh, I've tried to, uh, like just really, uh, pick up the pace here uh, and find that zeal, uh, that first love for uh, what I do. A passion, right? Because Jesus had a passion for us. And you got to ask yourself, do we have a passion for him? Do we have a passion? Are we God chasers, friends? I tell you, friends, sometimes... Ah, uh, this is why I do the pot do the podcast here, uh, because um, boy, all the revelations I've gotten and had and uh, continue to get, it's it's pretty uh pretty amazing. Uh, it is so. Anyway, just give me a second here, 
And let me kind of catch up on this because I believe this is really important. I got a message for somebody. Somebody's got to hear this, friends. Uh, and uh, so I hope this reaches you. I hope this helps uh, in your walk, uh, in your search here. So let's get back to this, friends. I'm telling you, I get drift off sometimes. I got to reel it back in here. Um, as let's see, I got to move that back here just a bit. It's kind of, I mean, I'm I'm glad I got this mic because it actually helps quite a bit. But it's kind of a directional one, and you got to really, you know, kind of talk straight into it. So this is about the best angle I'm going to get, pretty much in between all this stuff. So. Um, all right, so let me continue. Again, we are at uh, Matthew 26, and uh, I wanted to kind of pick back up from uh, where I, again, where I had this vision that I was watching this go on. Uh, so he, let's go from 42, friends. Uh, he went away, again, the, uh, let's see, backtrack just a little bit. So, um I want to get to the talk, uh, part where he was talking to Peter here, friends, in verse 40. And he cometh unto the disciples and findeth them asleep. Now, you got to ask yourself, are we asleep in Jesus? Are we, are we sleeping on Jesus, friends? That's strong. That's powerful. So, as he asked Peter, what could ye not watch with me one hour? Watch and pray that ye enter not into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, as we know, but the flesh is weak. He went away again the second time and praying, saved, as he said, or prayed and saying, O oh, my Father, if this cup may not pass away from me except I drink it, they or thy will be done. All right. Uh, 43. And he came and found them asleep. Church, he found them asleep again. For the second time he found them asleep. Man. All right, 43. And he came and found them asleep again, for their eyes were heavy. And he left them and went away again. So for a third time, um, saying the same words, then cometh uh, he to his disciples and saith unto them, Sleep on now and take your rest. Behold, the hour is at hand, and the Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners. Uh, rise, let us be going, and behold, uh, he is at hand that doeth betray or doth betray me. And while he yet spake, lo, Judas, one of the twelve, came with him. Or came in with him a great multitude with swords and, and staves from the chief priests and the elders of the people. Uh, now he that betrayed him gave them a sign, saying, Whomsoever I shall kiss, that same is he. Hold him fast. And forthwith he came to Jesus and said, Hail, Master, and kissed him. And Jesus said unto him, Friend, wherefore art thou come? Then came they and laid hands on Jesus and took him. And behold, one of them which were with Jesus stretched out his hand and drew his sword and struck a servant of the high priest and smote or cut off his ear. That's how far he was willing to go. Uh, to protect Jesus, friends. Now, in 52, uh, then Jesus said unto him, Put up again thy sword into his place, for all they that take the sword shall perish 
with a sword. Thinkest thou that I cannot now pray to my father, and he shall presently give me more than twelve legions of angels? But how then shall the scriptures be fulfilled? Right? But how then shall the scriptures be fulfilled? That thus it must be. In that same hour said Jesus to the multitudes, Are ye come out as again or against a thief with swords and stave for to take me? I sat daily with your teaching in the temple, and ye laid no hold on me. But all this was done that the scriptures of the prophets might be fulfilled. Then all the disciples forsook him and fled. So there you go in 56, as I am trying to fix this part. Um, let's go back over 56 again here, friends. Watch this. But all this was done that the scriptures of the prophets might be fulfilled. Then all the disciples forsook him and fled. And verse 57, And they that had laid hold on Jesus uh, led him away to Caiaphas, high priest, when the scribes and the elders were assembled. But Peter followed him afar off into the high priest's palace and went in and sat with the servants to see the end. Now the chief priests and elders and all the council sought false witnesses against Jesus to put him to death, but found none. Yea, though many false witnesses came, yet found they none. At the last came two false witnesses. And he said, and said, this fellow said, I am able to destroy the temple of God and to build it in three days. And the high priest arose and said unto him, Answereth thou nothing? What is it which these witness against thee? But Jesus held his peace, and the high priest answered and said unto him, I adjure three, or thee by the living God, that thou tell us whether thou be of Christ, <clears throat> the Son of God. <coughs> and Jesus saith unto him, Thou hast said, nevertheless, I said unto you, Hereafter shall ye see the Son of Man sitting on the right hand of power, and coming in the clouds of heaven. So, 64, verse 64 is pretty clear about that. Uh, let me fix this part here. Right. Then the high priest read his clothes, saying, He has spoken blasphemy. What further need have we of the of witnesses or the witnesses? There it is. Uh, behold, now ye have heard his blasphemy. What think ye? They answered and said, He is guilty of death. Then did they spit in his face and buffeted him, and others smote him with the palm of their hands, saying, Prophesy unto us, thou Christ, who is he that smote thee? Now Peter sat without in the palace, and a damsel came unto him, saying, Thou also wast with Jesus of Galilee. But he denied before them all, saying, I know not what thou sayest. Now, are we in that position sometimes? Do we deny Christ in certain situations, friends? Hope not, friends. We got to be, uh, you know, we, we have to uh, uh, not be ashamed of the gospel, not be ashamed of our Lord and Savior, friends. Amen. So, uh, as we look at 70 again here, but he denied before them all, saying, I know not what thou sayest. And when he was gone out into the porch, another maid saw him and said to them that were there, This fellow was also with Jesus of Nazareth. And again he denied with an oath, I do not know the man. 
and after a while came unto him that they stood by, and said to Peter, Surely thou also art uh, one of them, for thy speech betrayeth. And they, uh, they will know him by his fruits, right? All right, um, let's see. So, bereath thee, as he says, the speech. Then began he to curse and swear, saying, I know not the man. And immediately the rooster crow thrice, three times. He's denying him. And Peter remembered the word of Jesus which said unto him before the uh, the rooster crow, Thou shalt deny me thrice. And when he went out and wept uh, bitterly. Heavy sorrow, friends. Heavy sorrow uh, that he knew that he had denied Christ. Oh, mercy. Uh, all right, Matthew 26 for that. And again, I will, uh, let's see, we'll, we'll look at 23 tomorrow, or the next, I think tomorrow night or something like that. We'll, we'll go ahead and look at that. Um, all right, so let's go on to Luke. I want to read the book of Luke. Um, amen. All right. Luke 22. And I think uh, we're going to take a quick pause here. I'm going to go through the uh, podcast notes here. 23 is what I want to know. Where's that? There it is, 23. And, of course, I didn't get any of that done either. Or 22. Was it 22? 22. I'm calling it chapter 22 in the book of uh, Luke, right? All right, um, yeah, let's get to our podcast notes here real quick, friends. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, welcome. Come on in. Church is on. Pastor Rick, World Wide Live Ministry Podcast Network. I appreciate you guys being here, spending some time uh, in church here. Our Sunday service, broadcasting live. We got Spreaker Channels 1 and 3, broadcasting live on Anchor Cast Box and more. And there's your first hour. There's your first hour. Uh, mercy. Let me find. I can't see it in the dark spot here. Uh, amen. There it is. All right. Thanks, everybody, on Rizzle TV. Boy, are you guys awesome. I appreciate that. Uh, amen, amen, amen. All right. So that's loading in. And, well, I got to kind of do a little bit here. So uh, let's see. Hope my something's going on with my anchor channel. Oh, where is it at here? It won't save. Man, what's going on with that? Wow, my channel froze. <laughs> it's not good. I don't like that. What happened there? Um, let's see. Um, bow, 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 bow. So I'll probably have to go back over that and um, let that save in there, and I'll probably have to go back to that. All right, so it's there. You guys can check the podcast out on uh, Tin Can. That is up and loaded for tonight. And then... um. Yeah, for some strange reason, it didn't record, um, or it did record, but hopefully it's saving into the uh, channel, and I'll have to update that, so you guys will have this up uh, channel, or podcast, tonight's podcast, loaded up on Anchor CastBox. For some reason, it's dragging, and I'm not sure why, uh, which is really, really strange. It's processing through. There's something going on with it. I'll have to figure it out, but it's on Spotify. Uh, and, of course, all the podcast channels as well. So I got to sit for a second and let this process do. I don't know what's taking so long or why it's doing that. But in a way, let me, let me see if I can't readjust this thing again. I don't know why. Anyway, I got my new headphones. I'm happy about that. Finally got them in. Uh, 
they came in tonight, late night, but uh, I was quite surprised and happy that they showed up. And so hopefully I don't have to keep adjusting uh, my my headset so much because, you know, you guys know on the other ones, uh, boy, was I messing with them all the time. They wouldn't stay in. I couldn't I couldn't get them to work right. So I have a new pair and uh, what a blessing that is. So I'm able to uh, I'm actually able to make sure they they are working. I can hear everything really clear from the mixer. So that is a blessing. I'm real happy about that. All right, so you guys are here live on your second hour here, uh, Sunday, November 13th, going into Monday morning as you guys start your work week. Um, Welcome, friends. Glad you guys are here. Glad to see you back at StreamYard TV. Um, and, of course, live on YouTube and, of course, all the other channels. So thank you guys for that. Hey, we got some shout-outs. My little sister raised by wolves, but not really. Uh, Jane Doe stirring the pot at Spotify and, of course, all the channels you listen to. Uh, my my sons, they're on YouTube, of course, the uh, youngest on XP1, small, or, you know, the small one there. Um, and we got, uh, Pastor Ina over at the Christian Watchers, uh, or not that one, uh, <laughs> Soma Numia Paedia at the Blessed Life. That is Pastor Ina. Thank you again, sister, for your zeal for the Lord. We're praying for you here. Um, so our, our, our brother, uh, over at Christian Watchers, the Heavenly Signs, uh, Brother Mark over there, and the group, of course, the page. And, of course, my sister in Christ, Wilma Bills, right here at YouTube. Check it out, friends. Always got a word for you. All right. There's some shout-outs to family and friends. Uh, I thank you guys for tuning in, dialing into the uh, podcast, trying to stay on it. You know, I read these scriptures, and it just lays heavy on my heart. Uh, you know, it's, they're deep and they're, they just, just make, you know, it makes me think uh, about my purpose and reason why I, I am doing these podcasts. Um, and, and it's just amazing. I, I'm just blown away. Um, as again, as I said, his grace is too heavy for us, friends. And uh, again, by his grace, uh, of grace, what is it? Uh, by his grace, we are saved, right? Uh, <laughs> so there you go. Anyway, I was calling this the third service. This is the fourth service today, uh, friends, as I've been busy and active. Uh, again, this is the very reason why, um, why I do these, why I am pushing, and the pressure's on myself. Uh, to you know, to do these this this mission and and to continue, but um, you know, I, I always feel like it's the least I can be doing for the kingdom of God. Um, you know, I this is the least I could do. Uh, God has already lined all this up for me and and laid it out. He laid my whole life to do this. Um, and so you know, as I was joking, but it's it's true. God gave me a desk job in the basement, and I'm happy to do it. <laughs> really, people were like laughing at that, but just think about it—the irony of that, friends. Um, <laughs> you know, He put me. He could have given me any assignment, anything in the in you know anything, and I get a desk job in the basement. But as long as I got coffee and Wi-Fi, I'm good to go. I don't mind doing it. <laughs> so, you know, like I was saying, I'm like, well, God lined all this up. Uh, you know, he, he laid it out for me, and it's it's obvious. This is what I need to be doing. So, with that, wow. <sighs> Amazing. Right? So, there you go. Desk job in the basement, lights on, church is on. Doors are open. <laughs> Come on in. Let's grab some coffee. You're in your second hour, my friends. The fourth service tonight, Sunday night, uh, November 13th, already flying through the month, friends. I uh, hope your day has gone well. Hope you went to church yesterday. Well, we're now at midnight. 
Uh, you're live in the midnight hour, brothers and sisters. Church is on Pastor Rick Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast Network. Having some coffee, reading the Bible, doing a thing, friends. Amen. All right. I'm on the midnight shift, and there is that. Uh, what was that? Okay, nope, that wasn't it. Um, I thought there was like some dog hair or something like that, because I told you at the top of the hour, I was watching my friend's dog, a little puppy, <laughs> and he had gotten all kinds. He was drinking my coffee. Literally, I set my coffee down for one minute, and he thought it was water. <sighs> I should have rinsed it out, but it's okay. Um, I have backup. So we're okay. Don't get grossed out. It's all right. Um, <laughs> anyway, how are you guys doing, uh, friends, on this Sunday night? Well, now Monday. So you're starting your work week. You're starting your Monday off, uh, friends. I um, hope you guys are doing well. All right. Dear God, I know that I am a sinner and I need a Savior. I want to turn away from my sinful life to the life you have planned for me. Please forgive me for my sins, cleanse me of my past, make me new. I know your son, Jesus Christ, died on the cross for me, and I believe in my heart that you raised him from the dead. At this very moment, I accept, confess, and proclaim Jesus Christ as my personal Lord and Savior to live in my heart from this day forward. Thank you, Jesus, for your grace that has saved me uh, from my sins and has given me eternal life. Please send your Holy Spirit to guide me and to help me to do your will for the rest of my life. Church, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. All right. And let's go on to our serenity prayer, friends. Now, God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change and the courage to change the things I can and the wisdom to know the difference living one day at a time and enjoying one moment at a time accepting hardships as a pathway to peace taking as Jesus did the sinful world as it is not as I would have it trusting that he will make all things right if I surrender to his will and I may be reasonably happy in this life and supremely happy with him forever in the next. Amen. Now get a hold of me, Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast at Yahoo.com. That's the place. Amen. Appreciate you doing that. And I appreciate you subscribing at YouTube, friends, and following the channels. That's just a blessing. Thank you guys for your support, your prayers, and your so much patience. I do very much appreciate that. Amen. All right. So I'll have a little bit of editing to do. Um, amen. Thought I had a gnat there, but I guess not. Um, it wasn't a gnat. I never know. I don't know sometimes what I know. Or do I know? I don't know. <laughs> it's my own song. I'm writing a new one. There you go. All right. So we got our monitors pulled up, our fourth service here. And again, I thought it was like a gnat or something, but it was kind of right here. Now, I can't edit that out, so you're just going to have to handle it. So I can't do much for it. But uh, I I still kind of have those ticks every once in a while and those kind of little twitches and stuff. I'm dealing with some nerve damage in my face. Uh, and I talked about that a long time ago. I stopped talking about it because I don't want to give it authority. Uh, I'm praying for God or to God to relinquish, you know, to just relinquish it and give it over to him. Uh, and uh, I think that's real important. So when we... We, you know, we have our trials and tribulations, our little situations going, some ailments, something that happens. Well, we can't, you know, we can't give it authority. We have to pray against it and, and just give it over to God and, and just continue to um, just continue to give it over to God and, and let him take it. Because, you know, we're, we're not equipped for that, friends. We're, we don't, we're not meant to handle all that. We got to relinquish it and, and let go and let God, right? <sighs> I'm just saying. All right. Well, let's go to the Lord's Prayer, friends. Our Father, which art in heaven, 
hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive them that trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Church, for thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Good stuff. Fresh off the grill, just for you, friends. All right. You know what time it is, friends. We got to boot up and suit up, put our armor on, and thank God. Amen. All right. Let me scoot up just a little bit. I feel like my chair is breaking. I don't know what it is, but boy, have I felt <laughs> I felt like the chair is just dropping. I may either have to put another flooring on it to raise it up or just get another chair, which I'm going to end up doing anyway. Um, anyway, how are you guys doing? How you doing? Amen. All right. Ephesians 6, 10 through 20. We got to put our armor on, church. Definitely right now. We got to put our armor on. Let's read it together, friends. Finally, brethren and sisters, he tells us to be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, friends, but against principalities, against powers, and against the rulers of the darkness of this world and against spiritual uh, wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand, stand therefore having your loins girt about with truth and having on the breastplate of righteousness and your feet shod of the preparation of the gospel of peace, above all taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which we know is the word of God, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. And for me, that utterance may be given unto me, that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel, for which I am an ambassador in bonds, and that therein I may speak boldly as I ought to speak. So there you go. You've been armored up. Uh, amen. All right. Get back to that note here. All right. Get back to that. And <laughs> so many notes. So many notes. Yeah, I'm just like, I spent hours, literally hours. This is a full time uh, calling, full time mission. Like I was saying, um, if I don't, like, if I'm not on here on YouTube and all this on the main, main podcast, I'm pretty much studying two hours, you know, it's just a calling and God has just really laid this on my heart to do this. Uh, and so as I am a student of the Bible, the word here. All right, well, let's scoot on over to our next uh, scripture. And I believe we're going to look at <clears throat> Luke uh, chapter 22. And this is a heavy one. This is a real long. There's 71 scriptures or verses in this, uh, you know, in this chapter. But I do want to share it. I do want to uh, go ahead and read it with you. Amen. Amen. Hopefully I'll get all my notes out of the way and uh, got them done here. But most of them anyway. So as we were uh, doing the communion at the top of the hour here, uh, brothers and sisters, Let's go ahead and continue and go into Luke 22. Now, he says, Now the feast of the unleavened bread drew nigh, which is called the Passover. And the chief priests and scribes sought how they might kill him, for they feared the people. Then entered Satan into Judas, uh, named Iscariot, being of the number of the twelve. And he went his way and communed with the chief priests and captains, how he might betray uh, him unto them. And they were glad, 
and covenant or covenanted to give him money. So they planned and schemed to give uh, give him some money there for his betrayal. And he promised and sought opportunity to betray him or betray him unto them in the absence of the multitude. Then came the day of unleavened, unleavened bread, and when the Passover might be killed. All right. And he sent Peter and John, saying, Go and prepare us the Passover that we may eat. And they said unto him, Where wilt thou that we prepare? Right? And he said unto them, Behold, when we entered into the city, there shall a man meet you bearing a pitcher of water. Follow him into the house where he entereth in. <clears throat> and he shall say unto the good man of the house, The master saith unto thee, Where is the guest chamber where I shall eat the Passover with my disciples? And he shall shew you a large upper room furnished. There make ready. And they went and found he as he said unto them. And they made ready the Passover. Uh, and when the hour was come, he sat down and the twelve apostles uh, with him. And he said unto them, With desire, I have desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. Right? Come on now. For I say unto you, I will not any more eat thereof, and it will be uh, it will, or until it be fulfilled in the kingdom of God. And he took the cup and gave thanks and said, Take this and divide it among yourselves. For I say unto you, I will not drink of the fruit of the vine until the kingdom of God shall come. And he took bread and gave thanks and break it and gave it to them. Now, he says, as we already did here, friends, as he tells us, and he says, This is my body, which is given for you. This do in remembrance of me, friends, right? And likewise, also the cup after uh, supper, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood, which is shed for you. But... Behold, the hand of him that betrayeth me is with me on the table. And truly the Son of Man goeth as it was determined. But woe unto that man by whom he is betrayed. They begin to inquire among themselves which of them it was that should do this thing. And there was also a strife among them. Which of them should be encountered or accounted the greatest? And he said unto them, The kings of the Gentiles exercise lordships over them, and when they exercise authority upon them are also called benefactors. For ye shall not be so, but he that is greatest among you, let him be as the younger. And he that is chief, uh, as he that doth serve. For whether is greater, he that sitteth at meat, or he that serveth, is not he that sitteth at meat, but I am among you as uh, he that serveth. Uh, ye are they which have continued with me in my temptations. And I appoint unto you a kingdom, as my Father hath appointed unto me, that ye may eat and drink at my table in my kingdom, and sit on the thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. And the Lord said, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan hath desired to have you, that he may sift you as wheat. But I have prayed for thee, that they uh, thy fail, faith fail not, and when thou art converted, strengthen thy brethren. 
And he said unto him, Lord, I am ready to go with thee, both into prison and to death. And he said, I tell thee, Peter, the rooster shall not crow this day before that thou shalt thrice deny that thou knowest me. And he said unto them, When I sent you without a purse and script and shoes, lacked ye anything? Right. And they said nothing. Then said he unto them, But now he that hath a purse, let him take it, and likewise his script. And he that hath no sword, let him sell his garment and buy one. Again, friends, we are reading uh, Luke 22. And it's a long one. There's a lot here. Uh, Amen. All right, get that pinned back over for that next part. So, as we get into 37, verse 37, Luke, uh, was it 22? But I say it to you that this that is written must yet be accomplished in me. And he was reckoned among the transgressors, for the things concerning me have an end. And they said, Lord, behold, uh, here are two swords. And he said unto them, It is enough. And he came out and went as he won't, uh, as he was won't, uh, to the Mount of Olives. And his disciples uh, also followed him. And when he was at that place, he said unto them, Pray that ye enter not into temptation. And he was withdrawn from them, uh, about a stone's cast, and kneeled down and prayed, and saying, Father, if thou be willing, remove the cup from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but thine be done. Right? Amen. Uh, and there appeared an angel unto him from heaven, strengthening him. And being in agony, he prayed more earnestly, and his sweat was as it were great drops of blood falling down to the ground. And when he rose up from prayer and was come to his disciples, he found them sleeping, friends. Church, are we sleeping? Again, I brought this up on the last uh, last, uh, verse that we were reading in Scripture. Are we asleep in Jesus? Are we asleep on Jesus? We've got to ask ourselves that question, friends, and really think about that, right? Amen. All right, so, as he says in verse 45 again, And when he rose up from prayer and he was come to his disciples, he found them sleeping for sorrow and said unto them, Why sleep ye? Rise and pray, lest ye enter into temptation. Uh, And he said, or let's see, verse 47, And while he yet yet spake, and behold the multitude, and he that was called Judas, one of the twelve, as we know, went before them and drew near unto Jesus to kiss him. But Jesus said unto him, Judas betrayest thou the Son of Man with a kiss? Uh, when they uh, they which were about him said or saw, what would, let's see, what would follow? They said unto him, Lord, shall we smite with a sword? And one of them smote the servant of the high priest and cut off his right ear. And Jesus answered and said, Suffer ye thus far. And he touched his ear and healed him. And Jesus said unto the chief priests and the captains of the temple and the elders which were come to him, Ah, uh, be ye come out as against a thief with swords and staves. When I was daily with you in the temple, ye stretched forth no hands against me. 
But this is your hour and the power of darkness. They took him and led him and brought him into the high priest's house as and Peter uh, followed afar off. And we get into 54 here. And when they had kindled a fire in the midst of the hall and were set down together, Peter sat down among them. But a certain maid beheld him as he sat by the fire and earnestly looked upon him and said, This man was also with him. And he denied him. Woman, I know him not. Um, he says in 58, after a little while, another saw him and said, thou art also them of them. And Peter said, man, I am not. And about the space of one hour, another confidently uh, affirmed saying of a truth, this fellow also with him. For he is a Galilean. Uh, and Peter said, Man, what? He says that. He says, Man, I know not what thou sayest. And immediately while he yet spake, the rooster crowed. Again, third third time there, uh, as he said. And then, or, and the Lord turned and looked upon Peter. And Peter remembered uh, the word of the Lord, how he had said unto him before the rooster crow, Thou shalt deny me thrice. And Peter went out and wept bitterly. And the man that held Jesus mocked him and smote him. And when they had blindfolded him, they struck him in the face and asked him, saying, Prophesy, who is it that smote thee? And many things blasphemy speak they against him. And as soon as it was day, the elders of the people and the chief priests and scribes came together and led him into their council, saying, Art thou the Christ? Tell us. And he said unto them, If I tell you, you will not believe. And if I also ask you, you will not answer me, nor let me go. Hereafter shall the Son of Man sit on the right hand of the power of God. Then said they all, Art thou then the Son of God? And he said unto them, Ye say that I am. And they said, when need or what need uh, we any further witnesses? For we ourselves have heard out of his own mouth. I tell you, friends, every time, every time I read that, that is just powerful. All right, Luke 22. Amen. All right. Got a lot. Like I said, friends, jam-packed, triple-packed podcast here. Got a lot of powerful messages for you. A lot of powerful scriptures. Amen, right? All right. Double-checking. We are live on StreamYard. How awesome is that? Uh, I will be adding more podcasts. So like I said, friends, if you guys see them and they're on there, they're posted on there, and then I take them down, uh, it's just because I had to change out something and, uh, you know, something came up that I wasn't able to get on like I did this morning. I was going to be on, or yesterday morning, I was going to be on at 11.30. That's the plan for Sunday mornings. Uh, just overworked it, overdid it, was kind of hurting a little bit, um, and uh, just reset it. So, it's you know, like I said, instead of 11.30, I kind of moved it back an hour, which I, I, I'm going to try to do at 10.30 across the board Monday to Sunday. Uh, it, well, except for the Sunday morning, and then I'll do an audio podcast at about 10.30 or so. I'm um, going to try to change it up, give you guys a little bit more here. I want to step it up, um, you know, as we clearly are seeing, um, even the disciples fell asleep on Jesus. And so as we continue, us that are called into the ministry and, and the missions 
to uh, preach the word and to share the gospel uh, of Jesus Christ, we got to ask ourselves, are we sleeping on Jesus? Are we asleep in the garden of Gethsemane? Right? We got we to gotta ask ourselves and continue uh, to try to push through and, uh, you know, just keep praying and keep digging in and keep pressing in. You know, Ezekiel 33, 1 through 33. Are, are we on our post, friends? Are you on your post? Let me ask you that, that question, too. Uh, you know, <laughs> are you on your post? Are you on your mission? Are you in your mission? You know, what are you doing uh, with what you have, you know, to share? And to, you know, if you got five minutes, you can read the Bible to somebody. You can share the word with somebody. You know, just get out there and do it, you know. Amen. God doesn't give us the spirit of fear, but of love, power, and a sound mind, friends. Come on now. Amen. All right. So we are, boy, I tell you, I got so much here, friends. I'm run, giving you a rundown of the communion scriptures. Uh, as I was studying and reading them, I think Sunday's a good time to do that. I'll just pick one next weekend for 1 Corinthians 11, uh, 1 through 34. We opened up with that on the top of the hour here for your Sunday service, friends. Fourth, four service. Like I said, I've been, I've been updating all day, uh, recording uh, earlier, you know, on the Instagram, TikTok, uh, Rizzle TV, all that stuff. I've got so many different channels out there. Uh, you know, God has just made it possible for me to do this full time. And that, what a blessing that is. So, thank you guys for that. Don't forget, I do have a PayPal account and a Cash App account available for your friendly, kind donations to the ministry here. That helps uh, a lot and covers uh, channels and stuff. And, of course, sending out Bibles. So, thank you guys in advance. I appreciate that. Well, what do we got? You know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to switch cups. I, I don't. I, I don't dig the puppy here. <laughs> Not much, but it got in my cup. And I'm like, ah, oh, yeah, yeah, that's bad. So I got a backup cup just in case. I Like I said, I washed it all out and I took care of it. But apparently I missed the corner. It's okay. I, I'll be all right. I've got backup. I got three cups of coffee over here. So <laughs> yeah, I'll know, right? Come on now. All right, what do we got? We're finishing up just a little bit on Block Talk Radio, the 1034th service here on StreamYard TV. Uh, friends, thank you guys again. Block Talk Radio, Pastor Rick, Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast Network. Blasting the enemy with the word of God, friends. Got a powerful message for you tonight, this morning. Now, as we are at our midnight 30 hour, you're live in Studio A, friends. In the cold, by the way. Uh, we still got snow, and uh, that's always fun, you know. But uh, we'll see how uh, we'll see what the weather is like later on today. Do a little bit of yard work out there, get some work going on. So you know, trying to keep busy and stay busy there. Amen. Now again, we'll see how the Wi-Fi holds up. I, I'm blessed so far; uh, all has been well. So that's good. So. Uh, amen. All right. So we've got, as I'm running out of breath, I don't know why I feel like running out of breath here, but don't worry. I'm okay. <laughs> amen. I know my friend's laughing at me. She just popped online and says, you stop. You don't need no coffee. Quit drinking coffee. No, I, I need my coffee. <laughs> so there you go, just in case you didn't know that, friends. I do have my coffee going on. Amen. All right, take a deep breath. Slow down. Relax. It's going to be okay. Amen. It is going to be all right. Um, ba -ba -dum, ba -ba -ba -da -ba -ba. All right. So, by the way, you guys know and hear the podcast intros on Spreaker. Brought to you by, where did I put the note? What did I do? Oh, can, uh, Music Radio uh, Creative for that. And the videos and the music 
all copyrighted, signatured, and locked in a contract or, you know, uh, exclusive contract with can, uh, with uh, uh, StreamYard right here. Um, so those are all copyrighted material. Can't take it because they belong to uh, Canva. Uh, and so, again, not, uh, not sponsored by them, but I just like uh, the product. Again, as I always say. Um, so some of you guys, I've had emails and stuff. Hey, you know, that's a copyright. No, it's not. I, I'm under contract with Canva or Canva. I'm a monthly, uh, have a monthly subscription that I pay. And uh, it is an exclusive contract. Uh, not like the other, uh, you know, music products out there. Um, Canva is uh, the one I use exclusively for the StreamYard uh, channel. Uh, so there you go, just in case you were asking or wondering, because I get a lot of emails on that since I switched and added um, StreamYard to the mix here. I, I, I was only on Melon TV and uh, Restream, and then my dear friend donated and covered it, and uh, so I added StreamYard and then got uh, the Canva channel covered and that's where all the videos and the music like i said copyrighted material comes from the canva channel so uh, but i i dig it i like it and it's it's a really nice creative way for me to work on the podcast and get these you know get the intros uh taken care of so if you guys are wondering there you go there's the information it's pretty awesome as I'm, like I said, I'm always looking to improve the channel as best I can every day, all the time. Um, you know, I, that's like all the, uh, you know, the, the, what do you call those, the banners and stuff. Um, it's just awesome and uh, it just helps the channel. So thank you guys again for your massive support, your prayers and your uh, continued support and uh, your patience here. Trying to get a message out to you, friends. I, I'm trying to get this church going and uh, this message and stuff. All right. Let me, let me, that, that light is so bright. I have monitors like all over in that room. I'm going to have to balance it out, put something on this side, I guess. Uh, because, boy, oh, boy, I tell you, it's uh, that's why I don't even have the monitor on in the back. I, I added a, uh, another monitor, fourth monitor back here. But I can't do it because it's too bright. It just blasts you out. Uh, so that's why I don't even use that. But anyway, I suppose now I can't even see what I'm reading here. So bear with me. Let me turn that monitor back on. Do, do, do. There it is. All right. The church, uh, what is it? Sunday night church service on the main page. How awesome is that? All right. So checking monitors here. It is a blessing. Uh, amen. All right. So, yeah, I may have to uh, readjust my uh, camera uh, for the next one. Now, tomorrow, today, actually, uh, Monday, I'm going to be back on Restream TV, friends. About 1030. We're going to uh, double check, make sure. Uh, so I'll try to get back on track there. All right, well, let's go to the next scripture, friends. We got John six. Uh, what a what a blessing! What a what a great set of scriptures here. Um, so let me get to that. Uh, amen. For my page, uh, amen. All right, so John 6, and we're going to go all the way to 71. These chapters, for some reason, and I know, and they're, they're a lot. It's kind of long-winded, so uh, bear with me, guys, and we're going to get through it. I want to share some scriptures with you and, and just, you know, have a Bible study with you. So uh, I think everything's okay. Uh, amen. Boy, this headset, I can tell the difference. It's working out what real good. Um, amen. All right, give me a second. I'm going to cut this one off. I put my <laughs> like I got to put my hand down. What am I doing here? Uh, anyway, um, let me put that. Yeah, you know, that maybe that'll help. Um, bright lights. Oops, no. What? The, what? My phone ghosted out again. 
uh, it just turned itself back on. It wasn't supposed to. Right, come on. Work. It doesn't want to work. This phone is so strange. It'll just, like I said, uh, these couple of phones on my main phone will just turn itself on. It, it just, uh, it just doesn't shut off. Um, and it actually will turn itself back on. Uh, so, <sighs> not on my watch. All right, let's do it, friend. Let's look again here at. Uh, John chapter 6. Let's go ahead and read that one too here, friends. So after these things, Jesus went over to the sea, or over the sea of Galilee, which is the sea of Tiberias. And a great multitude followed him because he they saw his miracles, which he did on them that were deceased. Uh, or, yeah, deceased. Um, is it... Um, diseased. And Jesus went up into the mountain, and there he sat with his disciples. And the Passover, a feast of the Jews, was nigh. Right? And I got to move this back over again. All right, there it is. Uh, and the Passover of the Jew, a feast of the Jews, was nigh. When Jesus then lifted up his eyes, and saw a great company come upon him, he saith unto Philip, Whence shall we buy bread that these may eat? And this he said to prove him, for he himself knew that he would do. And Philip answered him, Two hundred penny worth of bread is not sufficient. Um, for them that every one of them may take a little. One of his disciples, friends, Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, saith unto him, There is a lad here which hath five barley loaves and two small fishes. But what are they among so many? And Jesus said, Make the men sit down. Now there was such a grass in the place, uh, so much grass, I uh, was much grass in the place, so the men sat down in number about 5,000, friends. Amazing. And Jesus took the loaves, and when he had given thanks, he distributed to the disciples, and the disciples to them that were sat down, and likewise of the fishes, as much as they would. Amen. When they were filled, he said unto his disciples, Gather up the fragments that remain, that nothing is lost or be lost. And therefore they gathered them together and filled twelve baskets with the fragments of the five barley loaves, which remained over and above unto them that had eaten. Uh, then he said in uh, the next verse here as we look at 14 then those men when they had seen the miracle that Jesus did said this is a of a truth that the prophet should come into the world and when Jesus therefore perceived that they would come and take him by force uh, to make him a king he departed again into a mountain uh, himself alone. And when, as my notes are scribbled here, uh, and when even so, nope, and when even was now, there it is, uh, <laughs> wow, uh, come his disciples went down into the sea and entered into a ship and went over the sea towards Capernaum. And it was now dark, and Jesus was not come to them. And the sea rose, arose by reason of a great wind that blew. So when they had rowed about uh, five and twenty or thirty furlongs, they see Jesus walking on the sea and drawing nigh into the ship, and they were afraid. Right? We know. 
Uh, and they willingly received into the ship, and immediately the ship was at the land whither they went. The day following, when the people which uh, had stood on the other side of the sea, as we know in the story here, uh, in the scriptures, uh, when they, uh, let's see, and the sea saw that there was none other boat there, save that one whereinto his disciples were entered, and that Jesus went not with his disciples into the boat, uh, but that of his disciples were gone away uh, alone. And howbeit there came other boats from Tiberias, uh, nigh into the place where they had not, uh, or they did eat bread. <clears throat> After that, the Lord had given thanks. When the people, therefore, saw that Jesus was not there, neither his disciples, they also took shipping, uh, also took shipping, and came to Capernaum seeking for Jesus. Uh, and when they had found him, or the other side of the sea, or on the other side of the sea, they said unto him, Rabbi, which of course we know means teacher, uh, when camest thou hither? And Jesus answered them and said, Verily, verily I say unto you, ye seek me not because ye see the miracles, not because ye did eat of the loaves, and were fulfilled. Or filled. There it is. Uh, labor not for the meat which perish, F, but for the meat which endureth unto everlasting life, which the Son of Man shall give unto you. For him hath God the Father sealed. Right? We do uh, Amen. So, Jesus answered said unto them, This is the work of God. Oh, let's backtrack here. 28. Let's go to 28. Then said they unto him, What shall we do that we might work the works of God? And Jesus answered and said unto them, This is the work of God, that we believe on him, uh, whom he has seen or sent. They said therefore unto him, What sign shewest thou then that we may see? I uh, believe uh, believe thee, what doest thou work? Our fathers did eat manna in the desert, as it is written. He gave them bread from heaven to eat. Uh, then Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Moses gave you not the bread from heaven, but my father giveth uh, you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God is he which cometh down from heaven and giveth life unto the world. Then said they unto him, Lord, evermore give us this bread. Uh, and Jesus said unto them, I am the bread of life, church. He that cometh to me shall never hunger. And again, that's our key verse right here. And he that believeth on me shall never thirst. Uh, but I say unto you that ye also have seen me and believe not. All that the Father giveth me shall come to me, and him that cometh to me I will in no wise cast out. For I came down from heaven not to do mine own will, uh, but the will of him that sent me. And this is the Father's will which hath, uh, hath sent me, that all of which he hath given me, I should lose or lose nothing, but should raise it up again at the last day. And this is the will of him that sent me, that every one which seeth the Son and believeth on him, friends, as we're listening to these words, right? Uh, that every one which seeth the Son and believeth on him uh, shall have everlasting life. And I will raise him up in the last days. And the Jews murmured at him because he said, I am the bread 
which came down from heaven. And they said, Is not this Jesus, the son of Joseph, whose father and mother we know? How is it that we, that he saith, I come down from heaven? And Jesus therefore answered and saith unto him, unto them, Murmur not among yourselves, no man can come to me except the Father Church, uh, which has sent me, draw him, as he says, and I will raise him up at the last day. Again, friends, if you missed that, verse 44 in uh, John, where are we at, 6? Uh, he says, no man can come to me except the Father which has sent me, draw him, and I will raise him up from the last days. Uh, it is written in the prophets, and they shall be all taught of God. Every man, therefore, that hath heard and hath learned of the Father cometh unto me. Not that any man has seen the Father, save he which is of God, he hath seen the Father. There you go. Uh, verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me hath everlasting life. I am the bread of life. Your fathers did eat manna in the wilderness and are dead. This is the bread which cometh down from heaven that a man may eat thereof and not die. I am the living bread which came down from heaven. If any man eat of this bread, he shall live forever. And the bread that I will give him or give is my flesh, which I will give for the life of the world, friends, as we clearly see. Amen. And the Jews, <laughs> let me get my let me get my notes out of there. Ah, oh, man. All right. Um it's bugging me. It doesn't want to cooperate. So bear with me uh, as I take notes in every chapter and every verse. I was writing something down. All right, 52. Uh, amen. Now, the Jews, therefore, strove among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? Then Jesus saith unto them, He said, Barely. Verily I say unto you, except ye eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. Or let's see, let's let's retract that a little bit here. Ye have no life in you. Whoso eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood hath eternal life, and I will raise him up for or up at the last day. For my flesh is meat indeed, and my blood is drink indeed. He that eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood dwelleth in me, and I in him. Ah, uh, as the living Father has sent me, and I live by the Father, so uh, he that eateth me, even he shall live by me. This is that bread which came down from heaven, not as your father's uh, did eat manna and are dead. He that eateth of this bread shall live forever. These things, as we look at verse 59 here, these things he, or said he in the synagogue as he taught in Capernaum. Many, therefore, of his disciples, when they had heard this, said, This is a hard saying. Who can hear it? And when Jesus knew in himself that his disciples murmured at it, uh, he said unto them, Doth this offend uh, your, or you? There it is. What, and if ye shall see the Son of Man ascend up where he was before, it is the Spirit that quickeneth the flesh, profiteth nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. But, as we continue, uh, there are some of you that believe uh, that believe not. Right? Come on now, church. We see it. We're, we're in it every day. 
Uh, as he says in uh, verse 64, but there are some of you that believe not. For Jesus knew from the beginning who they were that believed not and who should betray him. How, uh, how pointed is that? Right? Come on now. Um, and he said, therefore, uh, said I unto you, that no man can come unto me except it were given unto him of my father. From that time, many of his disciples went back and walked no more with him. Then said Jesus unto the twelve, Will ye also go away? Then Simon Peter answered him, said, uh, as he said, Lord, to whom shall we go? Thou hast the words of eternal life, and we believe and are sure that thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. And Jesus answered them, Have not I chosen you twelve, and one of you is a devil? And he spake of Judas Iscariot, the son of Simon, and he is, was, or it, let's see, for he is, was, or it was, that should betray him, uh, being one of the twelve. I tell you, that's gripping and informative, friends. Amen. John 6, all the way to verse 71. I told you I have a lot for you, friends. We're going to, like I said, I got a couple more scriptures for you. Uh, over in the book of Acts, <laughs> let me try, because I kind of went back to my other Bible. Uh, now that I got the new glasses, actually, I kind of upgraded a little bit, and I can actually see uh, where I, I can see. I can see, my friends. And so that's helping a lot better. I actually went back to my new Bible that I had just bought uh, recently uh, in the last few weeks here, months here, I guess. Um, ba -ba -ba -dum, ba -bum. So uh, let me go to here. So always trying to improve, friends. Like I said, I'm always trying to improve every opportunity I get uh, to bring you guys good quality church, friends. <laughs> Amen. All right. I know. I got my raveling time in there, so y'all probably got used to that. Uh, right? Correct? Amen? And what do we want? Chapter 2. We want 2. Colin, number 2. We want uh, chapter 2 in aisle 3 about now. Right? There it is. I knew it. I knew it. I could find it here in a second. Uh, amen. So, give me a minute. Give me a second. Or give me two seconds. I don't know. Give me a minute. We're going to go, because I was going to read one, but none of the notes are done on that. <clears throat> um, so, uh, I think just a couple of chapters here, a couple of parts here for you. So, um, I think well, I'm going to shift gears here just a second, friends. Let me... Uh, fix this uh, because now Acts chapter 2 uh, has uh, a little bit of messages for the um, for the um, communion that we just did but I just saw something I wanted to go ahead and look at uh, friends and I think we're going to like I said close out here pretty soon um, I want to go into Acts chapters 1 and two, we're going to kick that back just a little bit um, and uh, kind of roll back here just a, a little bit. Then I'll go back in and finish the, the scriptures here, or the notes that I need. Uh, but I think this is really important for the church here. Uh, so bear with me, you guys. Let me get a couple of these things together here. Uh, amen. All right. You know, I'm always shifting gears here, th friends. I'm always thinking outside of the box, um, for sure. So, roll back over, friends. Acts chapters 1 and 2 here on the, this morning's uh, Bible study. For service. For, for service here. 
Amen. The former treaties have I made. Old Theopolis, right? Uh, in Acts chapters 1 and 2. Of all that Jesus began, both to do and teach. Until the day in which he was taken up, after that uh, he, through the Holy Ghost, has given commandments unto the apostles whom he had chosen. And I'm going to just kind of touch up briefly here. Not, not going to spend a lot of time uh, on this. I will do this later on tonight uh, as I will be working on my notes here on this one. Uh, bear with me, guys. Hold on. All right. So, until the day, and we're going to just go through it here. Uh, until the day in which he was taken up, after that he, through the Holy Ghost, uh, had given commandments unto the, pro, uh, unto the apostles whom he had chosen, to whom also he shewed himself alive after passion, his passion by many infallible proofs, being seen of them forty days and speaking of the things pertaining to the kingdom of God, friends. After being assembled together with them, commanded them that they should not depart from Jerusalem, but wait for the promise of the Father, which, saith he, ye have heard of me. Uh, for John truly baptized with water, but ye shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost not many uh, hen days hence. Right? All right. When they therefore were come together, they asked of him, saying, Lord, wilt thou at this time restore against the kingdom of Israel? And he said unto them, It is not for you to know the times or the seasons which the Father hath put in his own power. Uh, but ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem and in all of Judea. Uh, let's see. Get that over there. Um, so, and in Samaria, he tells us here, and under the uttermost part of the earth. And when he had spoken these things while they beheld, uh, he was taken up, and a cloud received him out of their sights. And while they looked steadfastly towards heaven as he went up, behold, two men stood by them in white apparel which also said, Ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? Uh, the same Jesus, which is taken up from you in, into heaven, shall so come in like uh, manner as ye have seen him go into heaven. Then returned they unto Jerusalem from the mount called Olivet, which is from Jerusalem, a Sabbath day's journey. And when they were come in, they went up into the upper room when, uh, where abode both Peter and James and John and Andrew uh, and Philip and Thomas, Bartholomew and Matthew, James, the son of Alphaeus, and Simon Zealots, uh, the Ju <laughs> and Judas, the brother of James. These all continue with one accord in prayer and supplication with the woman and Mary, the mother of Jesus, uh, and with his brethren. Amen. And in those days, as he says, Peter stood up in the midst of the disciples and said, let's get to the next verse here. Um, amen. All right. Give me a second there. Amen. Lots of work. Uh <laughs> wow. All right. Well, like I said, I don't I don't complain about it. It always gives me an opportunity to be in the word here. Um, so as we continue in verse 15, uh, Acts chapter 1, the number of names together were about an hundred and twenty. 
men and brethren in the scripture must needs have been fulfilled with the Holy Ghost. Uh, by the mouth of David spake before concerning Judas, which was uh, guide to them that took Jesus. For he was numbered with us and had obtained part of his this ministry. Um, amen. All right. Uh, now this man purchased a field with reward of iniquity and falling headlong, he burst asunder into the midst and all his bulls gushed out. And it was known unto all the dwellers at Jerusalem, and as much as that field is called in, their, in the proper tongue, uh, a seldoma, a right? Like old school. Sound it out. Now, this is to say the field of blood. For it is written in the book of Psalms, let his habitation be desolate, and let no man, uh, let no man, where is it at? Where did I go here? Uh, let no man dwell therein, uh, and his bishop prick let another take. Where for these men which have accompanied uh, or companied, accompanied mercy? What's going on with that? Uh, my channel looks like it's stuck on repeat or something, maybe. Uh, I don't know. It looks like it's still recording live here, so we're going to keep moving. Got a little bit more for you, and we'll close out. So, 21, wherefore these men which have accompanied with all us all the time that the Lord Jesus went in and out among us, beginning from the baptism of John unto the day same day that he was taken up from us, um, that he was taken up from us, must one be ordained to be a witness with us of his resurrection. And they appointed two Joseph called Barsabas, who was surnamed Justice and Matthias. All right. And they prayed and said, Thou, Lord, which knowest the hearts of men, shew whether these two Thou hast chosen or chosen. Um, amen. Let me get to the channel here, friends. Give me a minute. Bum, 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 bum. Um, let me get over to the monitor here and find out what's happening with my channel. Amen. Sometimes you got to restart them. You know, you got to just uh, kind of. Uh, shift them and, and restart them. I don't know why, but uh, somehow you have to do that. So, all right. Yeah, wow, it's on. I'm, I'm on the channel. How awesome. Um, amen. All right. Sounds good. Looks good. Uh, looks like we're okay here for fourth service, Sunday night service. Now going definitely into Monday morning here. <laughs> amen, amen, amen. All right, um, let's backtrack that just a little bit. Had to make sure everything was still working. So they fall asleep, and then you don't know what to do with it. So you just kind of, kind of, uh, kind of reshift them here. So we're in, I believe. Where were we at here? I kind of lost my spot. Um. Oh yeah, 23. So we're still in chapter 1, verse 23. And they appointed two, Joseph called Barsabas, who was surnamed Justice and Matthias. And they prayed and said, Thou, Lord, which knowest the hearts of all men, shew whether of these two thou hast chosen. Let's go into 25 here. Uh, that he may take part of this ministry and apostleship, from which Judas by transgression fell, that he might go to his own place. And they gave forth their lots, and the lot fell upon Matthias, and he was numbered with the eleven apostles. Now let's go to chapter 2, friends. And which the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. 
And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind, and it filled the house where they were sitting. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as a fire, and it sat upon each of them. <clears throat> the Holy Spirit, they got a rush of the Holy Spirit, friends. Uh, and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues. And the Spirit gave them utterance. So, if you're ever, like, looking for, uh, you know, where this verse is at, it's in Acts chapter 2. And let's update that. So, if, like I said, if you're ever looking for that about tongues, where it talks about uh, speaking in tongues, uh, understanding utterance, uh, it's in Acts chapter 2. So, and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost, friends, and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. And they uh, there was dwelling at Jerusalem Jews, devout men in every nation under heaven. Now, when this was noised abroad, the multitude came together and were confounded, because uh, that every man heard them speak in his own language. And they were all amazed and marveled, saying one to another, Behold, are not all these which speak Galileans? And how hear we every man in our own tongue, wherein we were born? Now, Parthians and Medes and uh, Elamites and the dwellers of Mesopotamia and in Judea and Cappadocia in Pontus and Asia, uh, Phrygia and Pamphylia and Egypt and a part of Libya about Cyrene and strangers of Rome, Jews and proselytes. Cretes and Arabians, we do hear them speak in our tongues the wonderful works of God. And they were all amazed, friends. They they were. They, they were in awe, right? Uh, and were in doubt, saying one to another, what meanest this? Others mocking said, these men are full of new wine. But Peter, standing up, with the eleven lifted up his voice and said unto them, Ye men of Judea and all ye that dwell in Jerusalem, be this known unto you and hearken unto my words. For these are not drunken, as ye suppose, seeing it is but the third hour of the day. But this is that which was spoken by the prophet Joel. Uh, and it shall come to pass in the last days, saith God, I will pour out my spirit, church, here you go, upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, uh, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams, as I have clearly dreamed some dreams, <laughs> amen? We all have at one point, right? We all have our, our dreams and our visions, right? Uh, and on my servants and on my ba uh, handmaidens, I will pour out in those days of my spirit, and they shall prophesy. And no, you're not crazy. You just got the Holy Spirit in you, my friends, right? We got to activate that. Uh, and, if, and if they tell you you're crazy, say, well, look at the disciples and Jesus, all right? There, he's not crazy, uh, <laughs> right? He's just been touched by the Holy Spirit, friends. Amen. So, in verse 19, And I will shew wonders in heaven and above, and signs of the earth beneath, blood and fire and vapor of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness. Now, here's your key um, on your blood moons and your solar eclipses, right? And write that down in your notes. Amen. So, and if you're looking for that verse, there it is. The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the great and notable day of the Lord come. 
And it shall come to pass that what or whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved, church. Amen. Call on that name and you shall be saved, he says. Amen. Now, you men of Israel, hear these words, Jesus of Nazareth, a man approved of God among you by miracles and wonders and signs. Amen. Uh, which God did uh, by him in the midst of you, as ye yourselves also know. Him being delivered by a determined counsel and foreknowledge of God, ye have taken and, uh, and by wicked hands have crucified and slain. When God hath raised up, having loosed the pains of death, because it was not possible that he should uh, be holden of it. For David speaketh concerning him, I foresaw, or foresaw, not sue, it's saw, there you go, uh, the Lord always before my face, for he is on my right hand, that I should not be moved. Therefore did my heart rejoice, and my tongue was glad, Moreover, uh, also my flesh still or shall rest in hope, friends. Because thou wilt not leave my soul in hell, neither wilt thou suffer thine holy one to see corruption. Thou hast made known to me the ways of life. Thou shalt make me full of joy with thy countenance. Amen. All right, a little bit more here. Um, all right. Always got a lot for you, friends. Every podcast is jam packed, double packed with scriptures. Uh, you know, and uh, as I try to just be con- as consistent as possible, share the word of God with you, and stick to the Bible. Uh, friends, you know, you know how it is here, friends. And I do appreciate you. I really do. I'm, I'm grateful that, uh, again, that I get these opportunities to just speak and share the word with you. Share a little bit, a little bit of my anecdotes and my, how my day has been going. Not too much. It's, uh, always not been about me. It's been about just being obedient to the spirit. Uh, and, uh, as he gives us, you know, uh, assignments, right? So, uh, you know, as it says, a day is to a thousand years and a thousand years is to a day. So we're on God's time, uh, friends, not our own. I know. All right. Let me get, I'm trying to get some of this stuff caught up a little bit. All righty. So, yeah, we're almost done there. So. Uh, in verse 29, Acts uh, 2, men and brethren, let me freely speak unto you of the patriarch David, that he is both dead and buried, and his sepulcher is with us unto this day. Therefore, being a prophet, hello, being a prophet, uh, and knowing that God has sworn with an oath to him, and uh, the fruit of his loins according to the flesh, uh, he would raise up Christ to sit on his throne. As uh, he seeing this before spake of the resurrection of Christ, that his soul was not left in hell, neither his flesh uh, did see corruption. This Jesus hath God raised up, whereof we are all witnesses. Therefore, being by the right hand of God exalted, and having received of the Father the promise of the Holy Ghost, he has shed forth this, which uh, ye now see and hear. For David is not ascended into the heavens, but he saith himself, The Lord saith unto my Lord, Sit thou on my right hand, he tells us until I make thy foes thy footstool. And therefore let all the house of Israel know assuredly that God hath made the same Jesus whom ye have crucified, both Lord and Christ. 
Now, when they heard this, they were pricked in their heart and said unto Peter and the rest of the apostles, Men and brethren, what shall we do? Then Peter said unto them, Repent, friends. Here we go. Uh, as he clearly tells us, uh, as he tells him here, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name, and again, that's our key, uh, in the name of Jesus Christ, church, for the remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. For the promises unto you and to your children and to all uh, that are far off, even as many as the Lord our God shall call. And with many other words did he testify and exhort, saying, Save yourselves from the untoward generation. When they that gladly received his words were baptized, and the same day, there was added unto them about 3,000 souls. Mercy. And they continued steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship and breaking of bread and in prayers. The fear came upon every soul, and many wonders and signs were done by the apostles. And all that believed were together and had all things common and sold their possessions and good and parted them to all men, as every man had need. And they, continuing daily with one accord in the temple, and breaking the bread from house to house, did eat their meat with gladness and singleness of heart, praising, friends, praising God, and having uh, favor with all the people. And the Lord added to the church daily, uh, such as should be saved. Amen. All right, my friends. Hey, we got one more for you, friends. We got Acts 1 and 2 right there. We got Acts, or no, we're going to go into, uh, actually, maybe we will all add those over here, um, friends. So give me a, a bit here. Uh, I think we're going to go to Isaiah 52, right? Uh, we got 1030. Da, 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 da. We got to go back that way uh, just a little bit. I think I'm going to close out with this one, friends. Where is it at? All right. All right. All right. All right, my friends. We got Isaiah 52, and we may do 53 just because it's a neat uh, scripture here, friends. Uh, so, all right. I've already got Monday's podcast laid out, my friends. going to be a good one. You got to come on back and hang out in the church. Uh, amen. I'm still your host, Pastor Rick here, friends. Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast Network. Having some fuzzy coffee. I, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, let's read Isaiah. Right, Isaiah, Isaiah. Uh, 52. He says, brethren and sister in, in the church this morning, awake, awake, put on thy strength, O Zion. Put on thy beautiful garments, O Jerusalem. Holy city, the holy city, for henceforth there shall no more come into thee uncircumcised, or thee the uncircumcised, and the unclean. Shake thyself from the dust. Arise and sit down, O Jerusalem. Loose thyself from the bands of thy neck, O captive daughter of Zion. Now, I got to preach. I got a message for somebody. I hope you're listening, friends. Uh, for thus saith the Lord, Ye have sold yourself. What? Wait a minute. Uh, ye have sold yourselves for naught, and ye shall be redeemed without money. Uh, for thus saith the Lord 
God, my people went down a fourth time into Egypt to sojourn there, and the Assyrian oppressed them without cause. Now, therefore, what have I there, saith the Lord, that my people is taken away for naught? They that rule over them make them to howl, saith the Lord. And my name continually every day is blasphemed, friends. Uh, Therefore, my people shall know my name. And I got to adjust that again. They shall know my name, he says. Therefore, they shall know in that day that I am he that doth speak. It is I. Amen. Now, how beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of them that bringeth good tidings, uh, that publisheth peace, and bring good tidings of good, that publish it, or publish F, salvation, that saith unto Zion, Thy God reigneth. Thy watchman, now watch this in verse 8, the watchman shall lift up the voice with the voice together. They sing, for they shall see eye to eye when the Lord shall bring against, or again, Zion. Break forth into joy. Sing together, ye waste places of Jerusalem. For the Lord hath comforted his people. Uh, He hath redeemed Jerusalem. The Lord hath made bare his holy arm in the eye of all nations, and all the ends of the earth shall see the salvation of our God. Depart ye, depart ye, go ye out from thence. Touch no unclean thing, friends. All right, double checking on the time. Go ye out of the midst of her, be ye clean, that bear the vessels of the Lord. For ye shall not go out, or go out with uh, haste, nor go by flight. For the Lord will go before you, and the God of Israel will be your reward. And behold, my servant shall deal prudently. He shall be exalted and in, uh, extolled and be very high. As my or many were astonied at thee, his visage, as he says, uh, was so marred more than any man, and his form more than the sons of men, so shall he sprinkle many nations. Uh, the king shall shut their mouths at him for what which had not been told uh, them shall they see, and they which uh, which they had not heard shall they consider. Now I think, friends, because there is twelve chapter verses, I think we're going to close out with Isaiah fifty three, as we need to be reminded, friends. We need to be reminded of these scriptures. Um, as much as possible. So let's close out the Bible study church service this morning. Uh, A little after 120 here, a.m. Pacific Standard Time, Studio A. uh, Friends, good to see you. Good to be here. Pastor Rick here. Um, Let's close out Isaiah 53. Now, who hath believed our reports? Uh, And to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? For he shall grow up before him as a tender plant, and as a root out of a dry ground. He hath no form, no comeliness, and when we shall see him, there is no beauty that we should desire him. Uh, He is despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrows, and acquainted with grief, and we uh, hid as if it were our faces from him. Uh, He was despised, and we esteemed him not. Surely he hath borne our griefs and carried our sorrows, yet we did esteem him stricken, uh, smitten of God, and afflicted. All right. But 
he was church he was wounded for our transgressions he was bruised for our iniquities the chastisement of our peace was upon him and with his stripes brothers and sisters we are and were healed by the authority of jesus christ by the blood of jesus christ uh all we like sheep have gone astray we have turned every one to his own ways and the Lord hath laid on him the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed, and he was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. He is brought as a lamb to the shearers, or slaughter, and as a sheep before her shearers. Uh, amen. Uh, is dumb. So he openeth not his mouth. He was taken from prison and from judgment, and who shall declare his generation? For he was cut off out of the land of the living. For the transgression of my people was he stricken, and he made his grave with the wicked. And with the rich in his death, because he had done no violence, neither was any deceit in his mouth. Yet it pleased the Lord to bruise him. Ah, uh, he hath put him to grief, when thou shalt make his soul an offering for sin. He shall see his seed. Uh, he shall prolong his days, and the pleasure of the Lord shall prosper in his head. He shall see the travail of his soul, and shall be satisfied. Uh, by his knowledge shall my righteous uh, servant in, uh, justify many, for he shall bear their iniquities. Therefore will I divide him a portion with the great, and he shall divide the spoil with the strong. Because he hath poured out his soul unto death, and he was numbered with the transgressors, and he bare the sin of many, and made intercession for the transgressors. Boy, oh boy, friends, I tell you, it gets better all the time. The, the scriptures um, are amazing. So, uh, that's it for me, my friends. I'm going to close out with that because, like I said, that was a whole lot of scriptures and a whole lot of messages. Um, uh, I got a lot, a lot of work to do here. Let me kind of fix this while I'm looking at it. Um, that's it, friends. I will, uh, I'm going to fix, <laughs> I'll fix this note here. And then uh, reset this. And uh, I got a lot for you, friends. Come on back tonight, later on, sometime tonight. Anyway, I'm not sure when, but uh, come on back. I got a lot more for you. Uh, we're going to go into, you know, a few more scriptures here, a few more notes, as I always do here. Um, amen. And I think, because like I said, I think we're going to open up with um Luke chapter 23 uh and I'll get that note together because uh man oh man I tell you friends uh this is going to be a uh, a great bible study here tonight um and let me uh let me get this together here um cuz boy oh boy like I said this is uh, a lot uh, I'm going to be looking at, again, as I pull this notes up here, friends. Um, boy, oh boy, this is us. I, I think I'm going to uh, I'm gonna try to get this done. Um, I want to look, uh, friends, again, let me kind of go back and look at this, uh, the notes and stuff here. Um, we're going to jump in, because I didn't get time to do this tonight, or last, when I started this. Um, we're going to look at the Orthodox Study Bible Archive uh, series, friends. Now, I told you the story about that. You guys can kind of go back on the other original, you know, the podcast and stuff. Um, I studied with a Orthodox pastor, Orthodox Christian pastor, and I was blessed to get an Orthodox Study Bible. And you guys can look them up online and, and order them yourselves. If, uh, you know, if you want to look at them or have one, actually. Um, and so I was blessed to have one, to get one, right? So as I've been studying it for the past five or six, seven years here, eight years, maybe longer, um, 
boy, oh boy. Um, there's so much. It's just jam packed uh, with information. So I've been studying it, uh, as I said. And um, wow, um, <laughs> yeah, get distracted here. Uh, as I'm just trying to do the notes uh, for the next Bible study podcast here. And again, we're going to be at, uh, I believe, Restream TV. So uh, that will be the next podcast channel. It will be Monday night, Restream TV. So anyway, this is the rundown on this uh, on this next Bible study here. Um, Second Timothy, we're going we're gonna to go back, and I believe, let me see, like I said, um, I, I'm going to look at this. Uh, Hang on here. I'm trying to get a, a couple parts done here. So this is the 14th. Um, amen. So anyway, uh, we are going to look at Ecclesiastes chapter 3, 1 through 22, 1 through 3rd John. And again, Luke 23, 1 through 51. And then, like I said, the second part is going to be the Orthodox Study Bible Archive Series. Uh, 2 Timothy chapter 1 through 4, transmitting the faith, strengthening others, dis- uh, discipline and suffering, the apostolic teaching uh, versus error. Uh, chapter 3 through 4 is going to be moral decline in the last days, the pastor's defense against apostasy, and loyalty to, uh, as I rewrite my notes here, to tradition, which is really, really good uh, here. And then Daniel chapter 3, uh, and that's a big one too. Daniel chapter 3, 1 through 97. So we're going to really look at that one and spend some time in it. Uh, the Theophanies of Christ, uh, which, and then we're going to go back over to Revelation 21, the eternal kingdom. Uh, Acts, we're going to look at chrismation, and then Romans, we're going to look at the holy baptism, and Titus, the second coming. So, as I get my notes together here, um, stick around, friends. you got to come on back. we got more church going on. we got more uh, studies going on. Uh, I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to be looking at... Um, so much as uh, again we're going to be taking a look at the orthodox study bible archive series so check it out come on back bring your bibles in your coffee my friends uh so much always always a lot listen i appreciate you guys stopping by the channel for a while appreciate that so much like and subscribe if you can i always appreciate that um amen let me uh find my channel here and close out the bible study let's bring that uh block talk radio up all right that's it it's a little after 1 30 a little a little over two and a half hours here kind of knew that was going to happen uh friends worldwide live ministry podcast uh network here pastor rick uh studio a appreciate you guys uh stream yard block talk radio spreaker and more um, friends, have a great Monday. I know you're probably going to work, but you know, you trust God, He'll get you through it. Um, I will see you on the next broadcast, friends. Hopefully, get back here tonight. Uh, again, about 10 30. That's the plan. Um, trying to bring it a little earlier instead of 11 30, but we'll see how the day goes and see what happens. I got a lot of work today. Um, so a lot of you know, little yard work stuff going on. So I'm trying to get that all taken care of and uh done so anyway have a blessed rest of your day thank you guys again shabbat shalom for uh here i appreciate you guys pastor rick uh block talk radio i'm gonna close you guys out have a good one i'll see you on the next broadcast friends take care uh you guys hold on just a second here all right there it is i gotta do a little typing there uh, not bad, not bad. Holding up, holding up good. All right, let's, where are we at here? Let's get to Springer.com. See you guys on the next broadcast. Take care. Hold that pot. Let me get to it. All right, there it is. Springer.com, channel one. See you on the next broadcast. Take care, friends. All right.